All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the King Puff Invitational Three. Hello, good to see everyone. So we have the Invitational today. Uh, this is, of course, our top sixteen players going at it. Uh, and the question, of course, is what are they going after exactly, right? Yeah, Phil Phillipson, what are they after? Well, well, there's this money. It's like eight hundred and fifty dollars. They, they get yeah, no, that's a, that was a pretty good price pool. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. Only four hundred dollars of you in. Yeah. yeah, you buy yourself yeah. a sandwich with that, I guess. A silver sandwich. Well, what you can also look forward to is a brand new skin. Oh. Oh yeah, you know we need that. So uh, maybe maybe I can show that off. What do you think? I believe you can. Uh, but you know this was the season of well i'm sorry during this circuit we had the introduction of the battle pass system right mm -hmm. and we had the season of the demon yep and we have we currently have the season of raging heat we do indeed so clearly we have to incorporate that into the skin right absolutely so as you know we're king puff and you know there is a uh little demon skin as you can see on the screen there uh the the king puff devil and, and uh you know so so there's your season of the demon and then we also got rid of the rubies and set his fucking trophy on fire so there's your raging heat that's that's a fully animated fire by the way that's right I believe that's the first particle effect we've actually attached to a skin I believe other than that, only Milloween had something like that. Actually, no, I guess Mordor technically counts with the Pirate Mordor. Yeah. Maybe the we, second one, then. We got the cool one. That's all that matters. Oh, so, you're so, calling this better than Pirate Mordor? Uh, that's right, because it, it, it could have your name on it, right? Yeah. We'll Any one of our in. 16 participants today could have their name on this skin. Forever. That's right. Just like how Memphisto has it for the second King Puff Cup. Whoever yep. wins today will also have their name on this one. But let, let's get into our, our brackets, our group stages. Wait, you, you forgot the most important prize. What's that? They get the chat icon. Oh. Who needs they get to join the prestigious ranks of Rush Second and Memphisto in being very special in chat. Uh, yeah. Well, so, uh, let, let, you, you know what? Gold color name, trophy icon. I can put a trophy icon all, all the time because the chat lets me do that, right? I guess so. So, so for our bracket today, We'll be leading off with Group D, and that is Grey Wolf, Nuclear Goo, Jula, and Xiao Jun. And in a ballpark of about 30 minutes, we'll go to Group C. That is Rush Second, Terror Ravine, Gandalf the Pink, and Kishin Ashura. Group B, a little bit after that, will be Gamer, Zgrifter, Eke, and Paco. And then finally we have Group A, the big dogs, Memphisto, Boxes, James, and some other guy. I don't. Uh, I think he's. I think he's called Dover. I, 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 uh... did, did you get lost? Look, 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 man. I'll say it for you. Okay, <laughs> I know this is hard on you. The Dover Nation. <laughs> Anyway, we'll have our first game of round one here with Sprite, and that's going to be Nuclear Goo and Jula. Yep, I'll be casting the I'll be casting Group D and C, and then, well, we'll see what happens after that. Well, what they banned is Nuclear Goo bans the Apep and Mortar. Okay, okay. So you nailed that, and then Jula bans the Apep and Setsu. That's right. Spoiling the resort Ravager. Someone's been Masters. grinding. Get dueling. Yeah, we got that that Ravager and we got that Dark Fury uh milling. Yeah. And the future the pass the first give skin us of the shop. 
Wonder Spirit would be quite popular as well. People like that skin. Also, yeah, he got two mana Plasma Marines, didn't he? Yep. That's generally one of the best results in the game. I uh, generally, yeah. Oh, unfortunately, top spirits are not going to get away in time. Yeah, well, we'll go into the bottom bridge. As I see how long, it's going to be annoying, but... It's quite a low pressure card, so this does give Nuclear Goose some time to build up the mana for his future present. But now he has to deal and he's still Brutus. got this. Yeah, but he's got a cleaver. As soon as this, uh. Oh, gotta go for the Magma test. Storm. Um, it's. Two, okay, three, three. Four. there we oh, go. Oh, good rolls there. Wow. You're pretty good getting up one. And he's got enough mana to cleaver the Shashrock twins. Yep. Unfortunately, he gets the Incubus, so the propellers can't help yet. Oh, that stun blast is brutal. Now he needs to help. to take that succubus off the arcane golem, but that's looking pretty bad for him. That stun blast was critical. Mm -hmm. Just a little too hesitant on on uh, committing to kill that succubus. Now he's going to get punished a lot for this. Well, the good news is he's only going to walk away with 1,300 damage at the end of it all. And yeah, Brutus but that wasn't that was the problem is that was not off the back of the Brutus. Although I imagine. The Magma Storm being used on the top lane did help July a lot. The Magma Storm would have ended that push. Yeah, had Goo actually been a little bit more patient. Ooh, coming, oh my. That's Two really good hit. Does he chain it? Oh, he gets it! Does. Six Pies Marines with a face hit. And he keeps control of the bridges. Now that's what I call value. Oh yeah. That would have been value for normal Chain Lightning. <laughs> now gonna go for the Magma Storm on the Twins. Gonna find the Succubus. He does not want to deal with that. Oh, oh doesn't. No. Just barely. It's alive. You'll have to cleave for it. Uh, that'll take care of it, no problem. Oh, that was Still interesting. Still much one better the outcome than the first top. time. One of the Spears was thrown at the Cleaver, but the Spear Thrower did not walk towards him. Yeah, that is weird. This one just barely on the edge, I think. What's so. up? Oh, we'll have this nether step again, big push here, but... Maybe? No, stun blast. Yeah, does July really the likes shock? his stun blast. I'm sorry, it doesn't kill the Shao Long. The thing is, Nuclear Goose's main weakness is his deck doesn't really have anything to block a Scott or anything big like that. Mm -mm. It's a very it. greedy deck. And yeah, now he's down to 300 health. And he still has he a definitely... long way to go against Jula. You can definitely see the wall nerf hurting here because this is deck. This is definitely a deck list that would be including wall before the nerfs. But he just doesn't feel it's good enough, and that Scott's doing a lot of damage. Oh, never steps right into the cleaver. Good prediction there from Nuclear Goo. Perfect. July must have been anticipating the cleaver to be played right on top of them. Well, there's them tantrum throwers. Pretty popular this tournament. Yep. Most popular card it's a solid from bridge the control card. Solid bridge control card, but it hasn't quite pushed out the plasma marines because the consistent anti air. Oh, that stun blast caught That's everything. A... July is punishing Nuclear Goose so hard with these stun blasts. And there That's going to be the game. Step. July just really exposing Nuclear Goo with those stun blasts. Any inefficiency in his trades and just got demolished. Well, there we go. Got that rat, bro. Showtime! With the blonde wear, the blonde hair. Yeah. With all his stir for shenanigans, right? Totally. Don't know where his surfboard went, though. That's... He could make something happen with that. Eight mana Colossus, I mean... The thing is, he's also relying on July going all in with the Shastrak Twin Scott or something. But if that does happen, the Cleaver's gonna be in... This Colossus is gonna be insane value. But he needs some really good mana management to make sure that actually happens. Right. Well, here comes Brutus. There's the infiltration, Shastrak Twins to follow. Colossus ready to go, has enough mana for it. Does July commit on the bottom lane? Uh, he doesn't. 
That's fine. He can just... No, he's just gonna kill the Shock Shock Twins, man. It doesn't feel Brutus is that big of a threat. I mean, the, the good news is Tantrum Thrower is not that far away, so we'll get rid of Plasma Marines, and then Brutus will yeah. fall pretty quick. They'll dispatch the Brutus pretty quickly. It's not too high of DPS, and the Colossus gets some decent value on the top lane there. It should give Nuclear Goose some space to charge up that Future Present. Oh, the Scott, though. He's crying now. Cleaver should be able to take Scott out in time. Mm -hmm. Tantrum throwers reach the face of Jula. Gonna get in a couple hundred points of damage before going down. Even in the face yeah. of Radvidger. Yeah, Nuclear Goo lost his opportunity to play the future present though because of that Scott. It's a good play from Jula to keep the pressure up. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna see it though. Actually, he might, no, he might not play the Future Present. He might hold on to the Colossus to deal with the Shashrock Twins again. He's just gonna no, throw he's it just down. gonna play it. I disagree with that play. The Twins immediately come out on that top lane. He's gonna magma, magma Storm the top lane. If he's lucky, oh, oh got the Succubus. That's timing from July. And down goes Incubus. So we can see the Scott come out again, maybe? No? It's gonna go top. July's gone into a very predictable cycle. Nikogu knows exactly what he's going up against now. Mm -hmm. And he has all the mana to play with right now. Yeah. It feels like that future present probably isn't gonna get cast this game, but that's fine. The Colossus is such a massive threat to July. Mm -hmm. He doesn't really have much to deal with the Colo. I mean, that's three swings. Here comes the face. force. That'll be the last yeah, one that's as Cleaver now connects to the face. Julia just gets run over by that Colossus. No real answer to it. And here comes Magma Storm. He's getting Magma Storm because uh, the Cleaver's gonna die anyways. Gets the kill Kills with him. it. Magma Storm lethal. Nuclear Goo takes the game and ties a setup. Very well played from him. Yep, that'll give him the one very, one. Very smart, very smart decision making to not activate that future present in the end. Just hold it out. Pays off for him. So, here we go. Their bands are. Xiao Jun bans Apep and Ravager. Okay, okay. And Grey Wolf bans Ravager and Setsu. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, generally 2v2 tournaments, despite the amount of people saying we should run one, don't really get people playing them. So, so we're going to lead off really Ratbo versus Stormbringer. Yep. Actually, an interesting bit of trivia about this uh, crash landing uh, arena that I think most people won't know this is that those solar panels in the bottom left are plugged into the ship. Um, yes, there are giant yeah. cables. Yeah, they're powered. <laughs> That's how they power their equipment. They're using solar power. The law. No, that's cosmic power. Come on now. That's why it's not working. No, we do see that Stormbringer coming on out. The Lightbringer skin. Yeah, from last season. Yep, goes out with the Dragon Ball. Ooh, Ooh. Attachment Pro is really well played. Good yep. answer. But now everything's in the top lane. That's, not really That's that honestly lane. not a bad thing, though. Forces out the Banner Man. Well, it's up the Shashrock Twins from Xiao Jin, but they are going to cause a lot of havoc. Yep. They'll tear through everything. Oh! Okay, I think I just saw an ink at this point while stunned. Yeah, that might be a bit of a bug. Crossbow Guild does die though before the ink is able to do too much damage, so. But Greywolf needs to stabilize now. He's got quite a bit coming at him, but I think he saved up quite a bit of mana for this. He should be fine thanks to the ink is no longer being a threat. Yep, that defensive shop are coming in handy, but he needs to get these bridge control back. Is up against a Rappo. If there's anything that can clog up that global presence, it's a Rappo. Yep. The free scraps. Ever the nuisance. Looking for a Dragon Ball on that crossbow guild again. There it comes. Here it comes. Perfect timing. Even gets the shout. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, long timing from Grey Wolf. And there's unactivated problem. tantrum throws as well, so the crossbow guild does go down, and now he's got to deal with these Shashrock twins. Man, they're very far apart, but there is a Oh, he's going to cleave them. 
that's, that's fair enough. That works. I don't think those scratch are gonna. Oh, oh yeah, unfortunate will. timing. Just in time. And Cleaver. Marine's gonna clear not up. Gonna quite fall. Not gonna hit face though. Uh, oh, yes, he does he hit face. <laughs> I think Xiao Jin had the wrong conclusion. I did as well. And Storm Ring hits that perk too. Look, man, I, I think you forgot. This is the King Puff Cup where Cleavers hit face all the time. Yep. They'll they'll find the way somehow. It's like a superpower. <laughs> oh, oh, it comes out, changes mind. But there's the tantrum throwers. I, I really disagree with his use of Dragon Ball in this matchup. I feel like Grey Wolf's expecting it every time. Yeah. So you're just giving him free tantrum for his value. I mean, it's okay, but he needs to pick his timing just a tiny bit better so that he at least yep. catches the crossbow dude. Here's Bear gonna try and tank up for the Xiao Manages to do so. Heck, if he even got more creative with the position, he might actually put the Dragon Ball in a position that won't get hit. Oh, fight the dragons! He has those in his deck. Mm -hmm. He's actually got a surprising DPS. variety of cards in his deck. The only problem tech is... Oh, no, they will reach face. He's still holding on the cards. Yeah, shreds out his health. And there's the Dragon Ball again. This time there's not... Oh, well, Ooh, Defenso will Defenso. do it. Interesting. Could have been played a little bit later, but it does the trick. And he can't really... Is he really going to play the Shark Shark Twins into that? He's going to attack up. Oh, Ooh, that does it. Gets off the but, Illusory in time as well. That was really good timing. And now that sh the Incubus jumps all the way to face. Finally goes Cable's down, a but lot gets of trouble now. first. Grey Wolves is... It's not looking good for him. Now he's oh, got to deal with this Spare Horn in face. face. Plasma Marines will help. clean it up very quickly. But Xiao, it's got to have such a mana advantage right now. Grey Wolf can't have too much to play with. Well, now looking towards perk 3 for Grey Wolf. That's going to help a lot. As that yeah, the Grey Wolf DPS becomes 20. Grey Wolf was even playing the crossbow go at this point. Doesn't necessarily need to. Hasn't been getting much value anyway. No. It was forcing out the Dragon Ball. Yeah, but every time it forces it out, the, the twins aren't far behind. Oh, he actually plays it to activate the Xiao. I don't know about that play. I, I, th I think it's more about getting the twins out at this point. Yeah, but the twins are also going to get punished a bit by Xiao as well. Health drops down quite a bit. And of course, that Ingress is just melting to the Stormbringer. He doesn't care! Yeah, and Akiva somehow gone. connects on Succubus! Look, man, he knew what his target was, okay? This is where Grey Wolf's real pressure starts coming in for Xiao. Oh, the Cleaver's still alive. There's a really good alive. chance he's overrunning him. The Dragon Ball ready to go, but that's still the old crossbow guild. Things just got awkward. The Cleaver's still alive! Oh, look Almost connects the face! Xiao's facing so much pressure here now. Is he, he's looking to just throw the Dragon Ball out. He's gonna do it. Now the Crossbow Guild's free to be played, but the pressure from the Stormbreaker... Uh, free is so obnoxious to deal with for Xiao. He has nothing to tank up, really. There's that Cleaver. Yep, there goes the Twins. Cleaver will go Cleaver down does this time. Die, but... The flightless dragons, Yao needs something to answer this or he's just gonna die here. The shock rock to stop those scratch tagging up. Xiao's getting melted here. He's down to 110. He's still alive. Still do things. Gets the crossbow guild. That's gonna be the, the game, gets chipped down. The perk free storm ringer pressure. Grey Wolf managed to hold out so well until he managed to get to that tipping point where the pressure was just too much for Xiao Jin to deal with. Normally it's a Setsu or the Ravager that beats Stormringer. Well, he doesn't have access to those, so he has to do it with the Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Grable, Grable came into the set knowing that he'd have to win with a Stormringer, so... Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Just ban all the, ban all the two Master Stormbreaker it doesn't do well against. That's right. Well... Well, yeah. you could argue Rappo's more of a neutral matchup, if anything. Um... If it was Ooh. a harder Swarm Rappo, I think he might have been able to take it, but... That's yeah. not what we had. It was, it was a semi-aggressive deck, and Grey Wolf was just able to play defensively enough. Now, this is a much more comfortable matchup for him. Shaolong gonna pose a threat for a little bit. Might get off 200 points of damage. Yep. Now it's a yeah. scrap pack and the Dragon Ball. The health nice. total doesn't matter too much to Grey Wolf in this game. It's more about the EXP game. Yep. If he just stays level with Xiao, he'll have a real advantage in that. Mm -hmm. Here comes the start of the global presence. Ever so There's frustrating. One. There's the Dragon Ball, but it's gonna catch Ooh, even a three empty. And there's the end of the guild already. Yeah, it was a little too early on those times from Frozen. The other one survived, even able to deal with that Dragon Ball. Control goes quite heavily into Xiao's favor here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna start going back. Yep, yeah, Xiao does not have the Dragon Ball in hand. There it is. As all the pressure starts coming out now. Doesn't really need it to take down this crossbow guild. The pressure alone will do that trick, but it's gonna throw it out anyways. Real factory manages to sneak both bridges back there. But here come the Shah Shark twins. Getting a cleaver though, I imagine. They think took quite a bit of damage just from the uh planet dragons that they were played to clean up. Incubus flies off to another arena. The good old ragdoll. You know it, boy. Yeah, I'll get stuck on these melee minions for a bit. <laughs> See, Xiao Long just cleaning everything up for quite a while. Even going to play the Tantrum Throws Protective is finally going to fall. That does open up his crossbow guild to this, though. Yep. Oh, oh, good Shock Rock! Shock Rock, please. Very nice. It's done by Grey Wolf. Yeah, it shuts everything down. Think this job not enough to save it from the Cleaver. Uh, but all this stuff getting in the way, well. Yeah, it's a big commitment from Xiao to kill this Cleaver, and it's not really going to pay off. We're now looking at pretty high EXP values, but the, it's mostly on Xiao Jun's side. He's got a nice lead. Yeah, he's got a bit of a lead. Really depends on what he gets for this part three if it actually means anything. Yeah, hopefully it's something that can be useful. Otherwise, that might just be the nail in the coffin. Nicely placed tantrum throws that time. Well, here we go, he's coming up to part three. Let's see what it is. Oh, that is not useful. Um, That's actually, really bad. He might be able to get some use out of it. Um, he needs another bridge clash like he had before, but the second Grey Wolf knows there's a priestess in play, he's not going to let that happen. This is going to be a surprise back the card at best. And look at all this pressure being doled out. And now the priestess is out. The cat's out of the bag. He knows what's being played. Yeah, the writing might be on the wall, but we'll see if he can't turn it back around. Who knows? The twins with the priestess might be enough. Incubus jumps a little too far there. It just ends up dying. Yeah. He... Actually, yeah, this is kind of a problem. He needs to shock rock that uh, priestess to kill her. Well, that succubus was not going to die anytime soon. 
Thankfully, the Xiao with that range bonus is going to take her out before the next Priestess can come in. And now we have that perk 3 Stormbringer. He's going to start bringing the pressure back as a second guild gets dropped. Here comes Dragon Ball. It's not on either guild, though. Oh, that could be a big mistake from Xiao, actually. Letting both these crossbow guilds go unchecked into a perk 3 Stormbringer. This pressure is going to be immense. Look at that huge banner man on the bottom lane. That's terrifying. He needed the Shushrock twins out now to deal with this, but he already played them and they just melted. Mm -hmm. He's presence. floating mana now considerably. Try to see what he can do. It's gonna be throwing the Dragon Ball at the guild. But the tantrum throwers get rid of it. The Shushrock twins are here. Let's see what they can mop up. Bouncing along that top lane, gets Cleaver oh, though. Oh, gets past the Cleaver for just a brief moment. Yeah, that could be what he needs if he can stabilize off the back of this. But the crossbow dude pushing up the face again has to drop that shield totem. And the defensive it expires. Is Cleaver here. managed to push quite near the face actually, kind of dangerous so. And the crossbow is again Not shipping sure away his Oh, there it goes. Okay. Global presence is here, and now Grey Wolf oh, has the Oh, the still alive! And it barely survived. Oh, the shield totem. Shockrock doesn't that's catch That's fine. Grey Wolf doesn't care. It's just delaying the inevitable to him. Oh, no. Sucking the on the defense, so though. That's going to oh, be the game. No. Grey Wolf takes a set 2-0. Stormbringer, he's here. The double crossbow guild was just too much when he didn't Dragon Ball it. it he just, the game just swung massively in Grey Wolf's favor from that point. Yep, that's gonna be the end of what we watch for Group D. Yep. They'll carry on their games, obviously, and we'll catch back up on them later. That's right. So lay on me, Dip. What is this surprise? So one thing we overlooked earlier. Uh, Goo and Jula are still tied. Mmm. In Group D. We have a tiebreaker That's situation, right. I see. That is Nuclear Goo banning Apep and Mordar. Up against Jules, who bans Apep and Setsu. I guess we have to look more, to look into this more, uh, since we know Goo is going to end up with a future present day. Gonna be Milo versus Setsu, actually. Interesting. So, Goo going for the Cycle Milo that uh, got popular this season, mainly. And we have, I believe, this is a Combustion Setsu? So, it's uh, just a... It's a Crossbow Guild Setsu. Hmm. I remember... A long... A while ago, you said something about Crossbow Guild Setsu. Uh, did I? It was a long time ago. I think it was just two, almost a season ago now. The fuck? You expect me to remember that? <laughs> yes, I do. I, I will hold you to your word. What did I say? Mr. Know-It-All. Ooh, gets the Guardian with that Magma Storm. Healing Shrine not fast enough. Jules has my favorite card. He has the Bazooka Scrap. But I don't know if it's going to find value here. It, it really depends. It really depends on what Goo gets. We have. Dash, that's a Shock Rock. He got Magma Storm for the first one of the presents. I'm not sure which one. I looked away. Two side. So yeah, he got, I think, the Magma Storm from the present. Here we go. He got Priestess. He got Priestess from the future. So that's a three mana Priestess and a, a four, uh, I believe a three mana Magma Storm dip. Oh, it does not tank off the Setsu with the Swarmer. I'm just, yeah. So that that's a little bit unfortunate. The Arcane Golem now going to drop pretty quickly. But could have lasted for a very long time with the help of that Priestess. Off a number of shots, Jula falls down to 2300. 
Looking to play the Magma Storm. There's the Bazooka Scrat yeah, as well. Might want to throw out the they... Shock. Ooh, Ooh Black, Black Hole. Black Hole. The, the, the good old Black Hole counters every removal. Here comes the Shock Rock, Shock Rock Gang, and Dagger Ball combination. Get rid of things. Here comes a real Cleaver. So two Get more. Real. I would like this. I do think though, on the end of HP, I don't think it matters. Both of these guys look like they want to go through the more late game uh, side of things with the crossbow guild and the uh, and the future presence. Well, so, I don't know if that's really going to happen. They're do they're they're chunking each other pretty good each each but, time that the pushes go across we, the field. We always have to remember it's a setsu. Uh -huh. The lower Goo gets, the more danger than they're showing off their drinks now. <laughs> These guys. Their cheers. Shock cross. Next crossbow the good. Cross Gonna immediately throw the magma storm. A little low for my taste, but gets Gonna it anyway. It gets it. He gets it. You gotta love it sometimes. Gets it sometimes. It gives the magma storm. Give it sometimes. The magma storm take it away. The dagger fall as well. Daggerfall just to that's just the... that's that's just causing the healing shrine to come out. Wait, all the, pre the healing shrine's actually being countered by priestess. <laughs> yeah. If he can, if priestess can just keep this alive a little longer. Nope. Ah, oh, just uh, just a little, just a second. If it, it if it heals, if he, if one of those things, uh, if uh, what is it the. The guardian died a second earlier. Mm. He would have been that. This would have that would have been dangerous. A dangerous push. Mm -hmm. And I think that's Goo taking the win. As we the see the hand wave the go team. out. Here comes Setsu. She's gonna try and get this cleaver off. Not gonna be enough. He Black connects Hall. one more time, and there's the shock rock finish. Good game from both ends. Yep. Have a, some, a lot of skill. Mm -hmm. It really actually, you could actually kind of say it came down to uh, that that pull on the uh, priestess and that heal to counter the heal shrine pretty much.